Hi, my name is Stephen Hamill and I'm Director of Design and Innovation at MBS. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use MBS Create to specify construction products. We're going to look at specifying two, in two different ways, specifying generically and specifying through manufacturer and product reference. On the screen here, I've got MBS Create. We've already got a project specification open. So you see we've specified windows and uh, some sanitary wear doors, floor covering. On the right hand side of the screen we have the MBS technical guidance and at the bottom left you have the MBS library. In parallel with the MBS technical guidance you also have MBS Plus. MBS Plus is a library of manufacturer, manufacturers from the construction industry with around 20,000 uh, product clauses. You can use it as a library just to browse. So if I wanted to see manufacturers beginning with S, I can sort of scan down and look at manufacturers I may be interested in. And just click one of those. And you get an overview page that has contact details. A little bit about what the manufacturer does. And then items such as BIM objects, product catalogs, and specification clauses. We're going to come back to these specification clauses later on because uh, this is what's classed as the MBS Plus service within uh, the specification process. So what I'm going to do is add a new uh, system to the specification, a wall. And around this wall, what we're going to do is look at the various ways of specifying manufactured products. So I, I search for wall. And let's have a little scan down and I'll i go for an external wall. So external multiple leaf wall above damp proof course. And I right click and add this system to my job. So what I'm going to do now is uh, come and open the wall in the editor and make some specification decisions. At the top of the editor, you can see you get an overview of the entire system. So all of the different products that come together to form the system uh, external multiple leaf wall. So you have things such as the DPC, DPC sealer, masonry units. And as you click on one of these options, on the right hand side, the technical guidance synchronizes. And this is where you get the, the pages and pages of expert guidance from NPS and links to uh, other industry sources such as BSI standards, uh, BRE. Where you've got to make a specification decision, you can click on the drop down value, and I'm going to come down here and pick Manufacturer Stone Block. Let's add two or three products, so I'm going to specify mortar as well. And I'll also specify maybe some insulation as well. So come a little bit further down, and we'll go for a full fill cavity insulation. And let's go for a uh, phenolic uh, foam board. If you don't want to specify a product, so in this case partial fill installation, you can just click that button and remove it. So what we do now is actually added from the MBS library three specification clauses. One for stone blocks, one for mortar, and one for insulation. And as we go down the editor now, you can see there's the clause for the insulation. There's the clause for the mortar, and there's the clause for the stone block. I'm going to start with the mortar, and in this example I'm going to specify generically. I'm going to talk about the property sets that are required, but in terms of the manufacturer, I'm going to leave this for the contractor to submit proposals back to the designer. So every single one of the product clauses in MBS comes with this manufacturer keyword where you can pick a manufacturer or tell the contractor to make a decision themselves and submit proposals uh, back to the designer. So click OK and what I can now do is specify this mortar product generically so to a particular British standard. I can pick a particular mortar type and then specify things such as mix, add mixture, colour. So let's go for 2.5 and 
and maybe go for a sort of natural colour on the motor. You can also free type in here, so let's go for not required in that property set. And you can see I've quite uh, quickly built up a, a specification clause which describes my requirements in terms of motor, but leaves the manufacturer decision down to the contractor to submit proposals back. If I go to the stone blocks, I may have done lots of these walls on previous jobs and know that a particular manufacturer's product really meets uh, the need in terms of the aesthetics and quality that I want from the stone blocks on the outside of the wall. So this time I know the manufacturer, so when I click the drop-down value, I'm not going to leave this choice for the contractor, but I've say, got a good relationship with Bradstone, I know their products well, I'm going to click to specify Bradstone, and what the software now does is it replaces Uh, what's underneath the manufacturer keyword with the product reference and what's inside this product reference in terms of drop downs are all of the products that are relevant to manufacturer stone blocks from that particular manufacturer so we've got about 600 manufacturers of which four or five made stone blocks and then Bradstone maybe have 200 300 products of which five of these are relevant to stone blocks I know exactly which product I want. I'm going to specify it early in the job. This is exactly what I like. And when I click this, it removes the generic decisions from the spec and replaces those with the specifications that are specification decisions that are relevant to that particular manufacturer product. So I've got a, a picture, I can click for a larger picture. And if I come down this page, there's a sort of wealth of technical information about that particular uh, manufacturer product. You've got things such as the catalogs, CPD training options, all of the different standard features, so what, what size the, the blocks come in, uh, what the density is, compressive strength, thermal conductivity, if you have to maybe do some U-value calculations, uh, sound reduction for acoustic calculations. So all that information, high quality, well-structured technical information is at your fingertips. But the actual specification decision here is now inside the project spec. So when I come down to the construction option, I can choose this, and this is what the MBS technical team have developed, talking to the, the manufacturers, the experts at the manufacturers, a technical team, shade, you can see the different colors that are available. So I can very quickly, very accurately, specify a manufacturer's product using the MBS Plus service. Okay, I'm going to go to the third product now, the, the insulation. In this example, I don't know exactly which manufacturer I'd like to choose. So what I can do is browse the information on the right-hand side. So let's have a look at the, the Kingspan insulation uh, cavity board. It's the same principle as the Bradstone example previously. You can uh, look at the image, you can read about the technical information, so I won't have sort of low environmental impact on this project and I can see that the Kingspan cavity board achieves BRE rating of A+. Plus. I can go down to its uh, standard features, look at things like thermal conductivity, fire performance, the different classes against the British standards, third party approvals. And I can browse different manufacturers, different products to find the one that's right for that particular project. So I decide I'd like to have the, the Kingspan insulation product you can click the add from the right hand side or follow the same process again where you just come on the drop down values and it leads you through the product selection. So extremely easily I've now gone and uh, specified a natural stone block from Bradstone and uh, fulfilled cavity insulation from uh, Kingspan. One of the really nice things in MBS Create when it comes to manufacturer's information is at any time you can get a factual report of what you've actually specified in that job. So let's say I close down the, the wall system. I come down to reports, uh, so review reports, and I can click the manufacturer button here. And because MBS Create works with objects in a relational database, at a click of a button you can get a report on all of the manufacturers that have been specified.
So there we can see our sort of stone block that we specified from Pradstone. You can go further down, you see the Kingspan insulation, there's a, a door set from Leader Flush, a particular window system from Profile 22. It's quite nice here, you can see the sanitary where we specified many products from the same manufacturer, Vitra, it groups them. If that information is there, it's designed to time to review when you're looking at the specification on your computer. And you can also print that out, generate a PDF, send it to Microsoft Excel to make sure that as a designer or working as contract administrator, that what you've specified in terms of manufacturer products, in terms of the quality you're after, can then be checked by the contract administrator in site meetings, site inspections, uh, etc. That can also be used uh, by the contractor when it comes to sort of feeding into their sort of purchasing tools and knowing what products they've got to, got to purchase. MBS Create works through the timeline, so you can start by writing outline spec, performance spec, uh, generic full, and that information can then get passed sort of through the project timeline. So you can imagine an architect working for the contractor wants to know what decisions they have still got to make, uh, what submittals they've got to put back to the client. So I click the contractor decision report, and you can see that in terms of the, the mortar, the contractor can see that they've got to submit proposals back on which manufacturer they're going to choose based on the design requirements. So I click on this button, and it jumps across to the mortar that we specified at the start of the project. And here we can see that uh, manufacturers submit proposals. It's got to be to a particular standard, it's got to be a particular mixed design. And what you can do is use the MBS Plus content to actually check against those requirements and find the product that meets your requirements. So we'll come across to MBS Plus. And you can see there's a few manufacturers that do different water types. I can click on here. Let's have a look at this example, the one from, from CPI. So you can see CPI's technical information comes through here. So real good information for the contract in terms of the sort of one ton sacks, 25 kilogram bags. And when you go further down, you can see it meets the requirements of the spec. So you've got the 2.5 mix with natural color. So this particular manufacturer is perfect for the job. And just like you had previously, you can add it from the right hand side or uh, come down and pick the actual manufacturer. Pick the product reference. And you can see that the, the generic decision has now been replaced with the proprietary spec. And in this wall system, our three manufacturer products are now the actual products is sort of as built record of what's what's gone in the building. In terms of MBS uh, publishing options, again, you can send this out to a PDF or an Excel spreadsheet. And we also have options for, for exporting to, to sort of BIM formats such as Kobe. So I can come to the printed output here and export this to uh, Kobe format and you get all the manufacturer products coming through into your sort of CSV file, which you can get imported into the Kobe data set giving the key property sets, the manufacturer name, the contact details. So that concludes the presentation on specifying manufacturer products using MBS Create. Uh, thank you very much for your time.